Now we're gonna prep this thing down. So this side right here go into the front diff and this little tiny side right here is going to this CV axle like that. So but first we'll uh, prep this thing down. We're just gonna put a clip in here first. Brand new clip. The o-ring is on the other side. This o-ring is for uh, to keep the water away or dirt or mud. Okay because it goes in like this and you don't want water to go in in here it's gonna get rust and seized up in there it won't come out if uh, water goes in but the anti zs will uh, prevent the water by staying in here anyway so we're gonna put anti zs just make sure that o-ring sits nice and tight on the side right here it just won't all right, there you go. The O-ring is sitting on the edge. Okay, so this is on the front diff side. Right here will be on the axle side. So we'll sit like that. All right, so we're just gonna put anti seize in here all around. We go in like that. And you don't need nothing on this side because this is going to the diff and there's oil on the diff. But first, we'll uh, put this on the diff first. I don't want to put it in there. Well, you can put it in here first, but I like to put it on the diff first and then slide it in. And then the CV axle is next. Alright, so double check on the old one. This o-ring right here, it was sitting on the other side. So this is the wrong side. So make sure, roll it over and then it goes in this side right here okay so that's how that o-ring sits this is the cv axle side this is the diff side it goes in like that all right guys so we're gonna slide this uh pin in here line her up make sure those uh treads line up to the diff or the side diff so push it in and then just grab a soft hammer rubber hammer Pound it in slightly. Just hear that snap, and you know that you're in there. All right, so somehow my camera was out of focus when I tried to install this uh, inner shaft right here. So just line it up and then wiggle it a little bit and then pound it in right here with a soft rubber mallet. And you see how that o ring sit like that? And then there's a little bit of a silver material coming out of the seal and that's perfect that's what we want no water no dirt no mud coming in to the front diff because of the axle seals sitting like that okay make sure that seal it stick out not folded or anything so that's perfect right there and then let's move on to the cv axle all right guys so uh, we'll grab the brand new cv axle now let's uh feed this in on the front of this uh, knuckle right here all right so we're gonna slide this in to the hole and to that stub shaft right there when when that thing's lined up push it in all the way in there we go when you hear that snap you're good and then on this side right here we're gonna fish this thing in down the bottom watch for this uh abs cable okay careful with this one make sure you got a lot of slack all right so you can see that mark right there he told me that he picked this up from a junkyard this knuckle right here because there's a crack on the old one and uh when i noticed this bearing it feels like it's shot and there's some resistance and there's noise so when he picked up this knuckle it came with the old bearing and the, the busted knuckle is in the box he said so I remember we changed the hub before so the new hub is still good so I'm gonna use that old hub 
and he said that it's in here somewhere. Hmm, okay. Not in here. There is the key. Yeah, that's pretty bad. All right, so let's continue. All right, so let it line up there. We'll put a anti-seize in here. There's a couple of little dabs anti-seize. Slide her in. And then just uh, the nut that came from the CV Axle brand new. Couple spin and then just let it sit like that. All right, so we're gonna start putting everything back together now. The ABS wire, inner, outer tire out there. I'll put this uh, knuckle back into the upper bowl joint. Okay, we'll just have to uh, raise up the bottom of this here so that this whole thing will go up so that this uh, stud will go into the hole. Alright guys, so make sure to double check everything is all lined up nice and even. Alright, so let's start putting everything back. The nut, outer tie rod, the upper bolt joint nut, and then the caliper after. All right guys, so we got a little chart here for the Dodge uh, 08. You can see the hub, the shield, the knuckles right there. We're gonna throw this thing to spec. And the way how it's shown here, we're just gonna do the outer tie rod. The knuckle first is 45 foot-pounds plus 90 degree. And then the upper bolt joint is right up here. Upper bolt joint, nut, is uh, 40 foot pounds plus another 90 degrees that would be on the half ton and this is the half ton 1500 okay so 45 here and then 40 on the top the stud is spinning from the socket of this outer tie rod so we're gonna have to uh, hammer this thing down so it won't spin just hammer it down on this corner right here, not in the middle, on the corner. And there you go. I'm gonna throw out the spec in a bit. Let's go to the upper bolt joint. All right, same thing. Let's spin the stud oh, from the bowl socket. You can see. It's not gonna go anywhere, so we're gonna have to hit it. Again, from the corner right here. There we go. Sweet. That worked. Definitely, we're gonna need a brand new nut right here. All right, 45 foot pounds on this. Here we go. And then up on the upper board joint. This one is 40. 40, there we go. All right, going back to the outer tie rod, this will be an additional 90 degree angle. So grab your uh, 1316 sockets, breaker bar. 90 degree is about an L shape. So start from 9 and then you're going to end on 6 o'clock. There we go. 6 o'clock, 90 degree. Same thing on the upper ball joint. Additional 90 degree. 7 will end on 4 o'clock. There we go. That's it. Alright guys, so make sure double check. 
what you did and I like to put a marker a liquid marker right here so that I know that this is circle spec liquid marker in there same thing with this one liquid marker and that's done